and welcome to another review video. In this video, we're going to be checking out a blaster that was right next to the Dart Zone Magnum when I bought both of them, and that is the Dart Zone Legend Fire, the slam fire long barrel up to 80 feet shooting pistol rifle thing. But yeah, so the long fire is like a pistol, rifle, long barreled whatever that comes with a replaceable cylinder, which is pretty darn cool. So starting off with the package, basic package shows you everything that's in the box. And if we turn it around, it shows you some of the features such as slam fire power and um, tactical cartridge holster and other stuff like that. Anyway, it comes with 18 darts and two ammo cartridges. Let's open this thing up and see what it's all about. Inside the box, you get your instructions. 18 dart zone darts, the replaceable cartridge or cylinder, whatever you want to call it, and you get the legend fire itself. Before you start playing with your legend fire, you should really set it up with the replaceable cartridge or cylinder. It's simple. You just take this piece and you slide it on to the back until you hear it click and you're good to go. So let's talk about this thing and go over the features, the function, and the comfort of it all. We'll start with the comfort because that's usually where I like to start. So the Legend Fire is very comfortable, just as comfortable as the Magnum was. The grip is very well sized. My hand fits really well onto it. There's just a little bit of space between my, uh, my uh, middle finger and this little ridge right here on the trigger guard, but enough space to where nothing is rubbing or like squeezing into one another. Very well sized for all hands. I think every person's hand is going to have a great time. I even have a little bit of room down here before my pinky slides off, which is great. The pump at the front, which is how you fire this thing, is pretty small compared to a lot of other pumps, but it's very comfortable. The rounded uh, sides of this fit my hand very nice, very ergonomic. It even has a little place to put your finger if you like to pump your blasters like that. But this thing feels great in my hand. Another comfortable blaster from Dart Zone. Excellent job in comfort. The way the Legend Fire works is this trigger does absolutely nothing. It's mostly there for show and a place to put your index finger. The way you fire it is you take your pump grip, you slide it back until you hear it go pop, and that means you have fired off your dart and you just push it forward to uh, get back into the ready position. So when you're, when you're firing off, you just go. That's basically it. In order to swap out the cylinders, you take your iron sight piece, which is kind of just made useless by this cylinder swappable holder piece. Uh, so I don't really know why they went with iron sights. I guess it's for the looks, but you take this, you pull it back and you break this piece like that. You pull this off, you get your replacement cylinder, which doesn't want to come off for some reason. There we go. Um, you have to get it over these little holder bits right there. So a little bit of wiggling and wobbling is needed to get that out. You just slot it into place and you close it up. You're good to go with your next cylinder. Uh, to put them back on, seriously, you just squeeze them into place. There we go. This blaster does have slam fire, which would be pretty obvious as to how you do it since it doesn't have a trigger. You just take your priming bar and you slam it a bunch of times. And there you go. That's how you do the slam fire with it. There is one note I'd like to make about the Legend Fire, and that is while it doesn't have the as cheapy plastic look like the Magnum, it does have the same flex that it does in the front half where the barrel is. Um, starting where the blaster breaks, uh, this area is very, very wobbly. Um, it's easily wobbled. The back half, not so much. The back half feels pretty solid. But up here is um, a bit worrisome because the, the least of the worry comes in the form of um, when you're slam firing this, you might start bending the barrel, which is not what you want, especially when it does that much turn, your dart's gonna go onto an area that you didn't actually want it to go into. I've had this problem before with the Raider and the Rampage, but even though the plastic wasn't flimsy, the way I would slam fire it would kind of push my hand up like this and that would knock darts to the left. It happened a lot and it was something that I really hated with that blaster. This might have the same effect depending on how hard you go with the slam fire, but it is something to worth noting. It doesn't have that cheap plastic feel. It's still pretty cheap, but not as cheap as the Magnum, but it does have some bend at the front. So that's it with the Legend Fire. Like really simple to go over, not much going on with it. Uh, so let's load this thing up, take it outside, put it through the chronograph and play around with it.
The Dart Zone Legend Fire's performance is right up there with the Magnum, around the same as Nerf's Elite Blaster, so the competition is still going strong with Dart Zone's Springer line. Now we go into the pros and cons of the Legend Fire and whether or not I think it's worth your money. And we're going to start off with the cons, and there's really only two that I can think of. Not a lot of cons for a budget blaster. The first one is the Wobble. The Wobble is not as bad as the Magnum. It doesn't do it everywhere like the Magnum. It's just up in the front in the area where you don't want it to wobble, the barrel. So when if it wobbles, it's going to send your darts into an area that you don't want it to. During my shooting test, I did see some darts fly off in a way that did not look like just dart curve. So the Wobble, along with you moving your hand to slam fire this, is going to combine into an even more exaggerated dart fly off like a dart outlier so uh, that's one thing to know about this blaster is the wobble along with the slam fire can lead to some really inaccurate performance the second deals with the cylinder holder up here brand new this thing is a bit of a pain to get the cylinder on because those little ridges right here aren't worn down properly so it did take me a while to get them worn down to where now they come on and off very very easily which is what you want them to do but in the beginning of your having your blaster it may be a bit hard to get them on and off uh, i had to bend this out of place sometimes Let's move on to the pros now with the first one being performance. Dart Zone is doing very, very well with the performance of their blasters, especially at the price. This thing is doing basically what the stock Nerf Elite stuff is doing, which really gives it that nice budget blaster edge over the competition, which is excellent to see. And I'm so glad Dart Zone is putting performance into the mix because a lot of blasters, especially back in the old day, were very underwhelming and basically made them useless when you could just go get a Nerf blaster. So it's nice to see a budget blaster, especially Dart Zone, stepping up the game and putting it on par with that of Nerf stuff. The second part of this blaster is the slam fire. It's not accurate and it is a bit, you know, wibbly wobbly, but having that ability is very, very nice in case you really need it. And I know there are some times when you really need slam fire. So it's nice that this blaster, especially one that uses cylinders, has slam fire. It's just a good thing to add to a blaster and really bumps up the cool points with the Dart Zone Legend Fire. The last pro to the Legend Fire are the swappable cylinders. It's just a cool little feature. It's easy to do, uh, very accessible on the blaster, and with nine darts per cylinder, it really gives you like a bit of an edge over things like the hammer shot and the strong arm, where they only have five and six. So having nine before you have to reload and having your cylinder that you can reload with right here is excellent. Um, it, it's just a nice feature and it's fun to play around with. I do wish it had like an ejection system to it. That would make it so cool if you just pop this open, this thing flew up in the air. Uh, it could be a bit troublesome during like wars and stuff, but it would be so cool to see that. And um, I wish you could also fling the blaster back into place without the cylinder flying off of it. I've tried, it's only worked a handful of times and that's out of sheer luck. But the swappable cylinders are very cool to have. And now the price of the Legend Fire. The Legend Fire is $15.99, which puts it into this weird kind of all right to good uh, feeling about it, depending on your situation, because you also have the Magnum being sold right next to this. And the Magnum comes with 40 darts, comes with a 40 round drum, slam fire, a cooler looking shell, but it also has the, the wibble wobbles and the blaster, it feels cheaper, but when you put it next to the Legend Fire, it just shadows over the Legend Fire, in my opinion. Now, if the Magnum didn't exist or it's not in your area, the Legend Fire is still a good buy. It's a cool blaster, nine darts per cylinder with an extra cylinder, slam fire, very comfortable shell, and it's kind of a cool looking shell. It's like a pistol rifle. I, I, don't, I don't know what to call it, but it is kind of a cool looking shell. Um, I guess it could work for cosplay as well, um, kind of like a, a steampunk cowboy like rifle thingy i don't know but it is a good buy for the price but i would say the magnum is an even better buy but yeah i would definitely recommend this blaster for those who want a little bit of fun out of their stuff especially with the cylinder swapping and the breaking of the blaster it's pretty darn cool and pretty gimmicky so i like that but yeah a good buy in my opinion if you want to get a Legend Fire for yourself or maybe for someone else, links will be in the description to where you can get one. But for now, that was a review, look, firing demonstration, whatever you want to call it, of the Dart Zone Legend Fire. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, have a great day, wherever you are! <laughs>